Good day. Today we're going to read A Ladybug Larva Grows Up by Scholastic. Um, Katie Marcico is the author. So first we're going to start by looking at the front cover. And we see a picture of a ladybug which matches our words on top. And notice what the ladybug is doing. And think about why it may be doing that. Hmm. Let's read. Ladybug larva. What is a ladybug larva? It is a baby ladybug. Notice larva is highlighted in yellow and that helps us know that it's a key word. It's going to be important um, vocabulary to this topic. And then we have here a real photograph of a ladybug larva and we know that when we see real photographs, that helps us know that the book that we're reading is probably nonfiction, which means it's gonna have real facts about true things. Ladybugs are insects. Insects have six legs and two feelers. Many insects have wings. All baby insects are called larvae. So here we see one, two, three legs, and there will be one, two, three on the other side, even with these. And then here are the two feelers they discussed, and those are also known as antennas. We've got another keyword here, insects, and insects are objects that have six legs and two feelers. First, a mother ladybug lays her eggs. You can see that here. She lays, usually lays them, on the bottom side of a leaf. The yellow eggs are sticky. This holds them in place on the leaf. So they're gonna be stuck there. They're not going to fall off. After about five days, the eggs on the leaf begin hatching. Out come the larvae. A ladybug larva has six legs and no wings. Here we see a, a photograph of the larva and they've come out and we see the six legs, but they haven't gotten their wings yet. So let's keep reading into the life cycle and find out some more facts. The babies are hungry. They soon begin eating tiny insects called aphids. So here we see these tiny aphids there. They're so small, we probably could barely see them, but there's a close-up photograph that you can see that someone actually took with their camera. The ladybug babies begin to shed their skin as they grow. This is called molting. After about, after about 10 to 14 days, a larva attaches to a plant or twig. It stays very still. So here we have the molting process that matches our keyword there. Suddenly, the larva's skin seems to split open. Out comes a ladybug pupa. A ladybug pupa has a hard shell and does not move much. The ladybug is getting closer and closer to being a grown up. So here we have another photograph and another keyword, split, means to come apart and come open. So here we see the skin has opened up and out has come that pupa. So not quite grown up yet. What's going on inside a pupa shell? The ladybug is changing. It is beginning to look less like larva and more like an adult. After about five days, the pupa's shell splits open. Out comes an adult ladybug. So here we see the shell splitting back here and Ladybug is crawling forward out this way, and it's an adult ladybug now. Got another keyword there. You can't see the ladybug spots at first. They become clearer over time. We've read lots of facts so far about how ladybugs develop from a egg to a larva to a pupa and now we have adult ladybugs. Soon, the new adults will lay eggs of their own. 
and here we have that picture that we saw on the cover. So I wonder what this ladybug may be doing. Maybe he's gathering food. Maybe he's going to crawl up towards the leaves and lay his own eggs um, or her own eggs. So I want you to now think of some sentences about what we learned about ladybugs. Um, what they start as, maybe what's the first stage of a ladybug, what's the, what does it turn into next, um, what does it go into next, and finally, what is the last stage of a ladybug. And also, we should be able to create sentences about um, what ladybugs can do and um, maybe where they live. Also, some characteristics of them. What do they look like? What features do they have? Um, we have saw lots of facts about that in our reading today. Happy exploring!